convert on fourth and three from the Green Bay 35-yard line on the first possession of OT in their upset loss on Sunday. Sorry, Skip, we got to revisit this one. The Athletic broke down the play and said it was something you use when you need 10 yards, not three yards. They're calling it a disaster <laughs> of a call. Shannon, what was your view of this play? Well, if that's the play that you're confident in, you call. Skip, I'm a firm believer that you call your best play on third down. If you know you're going for it on fourth down, the head coach normally says, okay, give me your best play. Whatever your best play is on third and short, that's what I want. But, Skip, I mean, what? Tony Pollard goes for seven yards. Mm-hmm. Tony Pollard goes for seven yards. Tony Pollard goes for nine yards. Nine J- yards. Jalen Tolbert lines up five yards offside. Mm-hmm. Malik Davis goes for 16 yards. Conor McGregor, uh, Conor McGregor, Conor McGovern mm-hmm. is holding. I wish it were Conor McGregor. He might, he might fight somebody. Go ahead. But that was the thing, Skip. It wasn't like the, uh, the Green Bay just stopped him. Gash, was, gash, gash, gash. You was, backward, backward, you, gash, You backward. stopped yourself okay. because why? Got it. You a penalized team. You are. Now, either, either Mike McCarthy is cond- coaching this or he's condoning I, this. I got because it. I thought that was something that we're going to address in the offseason. That's what he said. We address this in the offseason. I can't tell. This is what the, uh, uh, you had penalty every game that you lost. You've been heavily penalized. That is correct. And so that that seems to be the problem, Skip. Look, every time the Cowboys uh, 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 they gain the yard, they need third and three. Is not is not third and ten. No. I just believe you should have run the ball. If I know I'm going for it, what's your best run on third and short? Agreed. That's not, that's that's my thinking. Because knowing I'm going for it, what's my best run on third and short? Now, I got a decision to make. If it's fourth and short, Skip, I put the defense in a bind, too. Because I believe in Dak, if I need to, I can run an RPO. I can run something Good. and put them in a bind. Hey, Dak, yep. if you need to now, hey, don't be afraid to tuck this ball and run. I don't. I know, Skip, looking at Dak now, Dak is not as hell-bent on running as he, he once was pre-injury. He, he also he, he, <laughs> he, he looks, looks slow, a touch slow to me. Ah! He does. Do, do you a see touch. any like like I don't yeah, see any quickness. It's like he's dragging the piano. Yeah, that's, but yeah, he, that's exactly. I've right. never said I, he's never going to be Lamar or, or, no. or Justin Fields. No, but he's he's a little slower than what we normally mm-hmm. think, would see him, Skip. But Skip, all that being said, everybody can look back, Skip, at a play and say, you know what? We like to have that play back. Seattle. I don't care what anybody said. Pete Carroll, Daryl Bevel, they're kicking themselves. They're never getting over that. Now, this this happens to be a regular season game. But, but Skip, at what point in time, 195 times in 62 years, the Dallas Cowboys in the regular season and the playoffs have taken a 14-point lead into the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. And 195 times, they've been successful. They've been victorious. Skip, if your defense is what you told me all year they've been, Skip, that's got to stand. Now, they've been telling us this is going to be a historic defense and we're going to do this and this. At some point in time, somebody's going to make you show them. Mm. Are you what you say or are you just talking about what you say? Or are you about what you say? That was an opportunity. Skip, yeah, you, we can look back and say the, the fourth, and, the third and three, the fourth and three. But, hey, so that, that tells me if you're thinking about going forward on fourth and three, what that tell, how confident are you in your defense? How, Skip? That's what teams – Coach, uh, Coach Belichick, Skip, you remember that night, that Sunday night, Tom Brady went for it in his own territory, uh, Tom Brady and Coach Belichick, because mm-hmm. he, Bill Belichick said after, I didn't want to give the back, ball back to Peyton Manning. Now, if your defense is what you said it is, Skip, I ain't afraid. I know what Brian Billick would have done. I know Brian Billick would have done, because you ain't going to move the ball against that defense. Mm-hmm. Your defense let you down, Skip. Mm-hmm. Now, you can blame Dak, and you can blame all this, the third down call, the fourth down call, but... If y'all stop holding and get your, get your wide receiver high the hell, I'm looking at it, Skip. This dude, the ball right here, he over the ball. And he looking like, bro, you can't even see the ball. How do you think you're onside if you can't see the ball when you look down the line? That's your third-round draft choice. He changing the culture, though, isn't he? That's what he said he was going to do out of South Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn. Shannon Sharp. Yes. The harder I look at this play, the harder I look at the scope of what happened in the fourth quarter in overtime – the worse it gets. My biggest fear is we're going to look back at that play, even though, to your point, it shouldn't come down to just that play. But we might look back at fourth and three at the, what was it, 35, Green Bay 35. Right. We might look back at that as the turning point from north to south, the six and two to to 
crash turning point, right? Yeah, you could have been seven and two as opposed to you, six and three. You, you could have been seven and two. And if they do go ahead, as many people now expect them to go lose at Minnesota and maybe even lose to the Giants in the quick turnaround on Thanksgiving, if that happens now and, and falls, they, they free fall the way they did at the end of the year last year, if they do this again, we might look back at this play as the turning point from north to south of the whole season. All right. You don't think so, that's possible, do you? I'm hoping not, but I'm just saying that's how big a deal that play is looming in my head wow. right now or in the depth of my psyche. Okay, where, where you and I split is that I, I'll give the defense 40% of the blame, but I'm going to give the offense 60% and Dak 60%, obviously, as the, the operator of the offense because of the advantage that Dak should have had over Green Bay's defense because, again, they had just lost their best pass rusher, their best linebacker, and their second-best corner and starting corner, right. Stokes. So there's no DeAndre Campbell and there's no Rashawn Gary. True. So it should be advantage, 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 Dak. Right. Right? Advantage, Kellen Moore. Advantage, Mike McCarthy. You, you should have the edge over that defense. And for much of the game, it looked like you did have. And to your point, as you recite the play-by-play -play of, of overtime, <laughs> Grimmer, you won the toss in overtime. Yes. And you go gash, gash, gash. You're running the ball, and then all of a sudden, you go south. So in the biggest picture, when I look at what happened, I kept saying, at least I first guessed this last week, He's still Aaron Bleepin Rodgers, the back-to-back -back MVP. He loves to play against Dallas. He's been notoriously great against Dallas. And he still had his best receiver and his second favorite receiver in Tunyon. And he still had a Christian Watson, who I kept telling you, he's, he's a big talent. He's 6'4", runs 4'3". Yeah, he it. just hadn't been able to hang on to the yes, football. Yes, yeah, he was still Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. But we hadn't seen this Aaron Rodgers that we saw Sunday okay, in I a long it. time. But, but every time he plays Dallas, he's that bleeping Aaron Aaron Rodgers. He just is. So I, I expected him to play very well, and I needed Dak to do something in the fourth quarter in overtime. He had the ball four times, and he scored zero. Aaron had the ball, I don't know how many times, but he scored 17. So he outscored Dak 17 to nothing in the fourth, fourth quarter, quarter in overtime, overtime. and that's it. That's yeah. ball game, and it could be game, set, and match for the year. Okay, now let's go back to, to your point. Okay, on third and three, if, if, if Mike McCarthy is admitting publicly, as he did after That's the game, he said. he said, I knew I was going to go for it several, on second down. Yeah, on second down. Yes. I, I knew I was going to go for it. So, okay, fine. You got me. Right. Okay, you, you have to game manage from the sideline. And, again, you have veto power over what's being called, right. even though Kellen Moore is, is choosing the actual plays, as right. Jimmy Johnson always taught me. Hey, in the end, the head coach has to be able to veto. Of course. He, he can just – you don't call a play. You just say, run it. Right. That's all you say is run it right. or throw it. There's Which a reason are, why he can hear the communication of offense that's and defense. He's on, the, he's on the headset. <laughs> exactly. All he has to say is as soon as the second down play ends, run it. Right. Because you're, 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 you're playing chess. You should be. You right. should be saying two moves. I'm two moves ahead of you because if I run Tony Pollard, he just went for nine, seven, and seven, well, right? Well – the question is, Skip, did, did Mike McCarthy communicate that with Kellen Moore? Did he say, look, we're going for it on second down, so I need you to start getting your best plays I, I, available I on third down? I don't know. So, obviously, this is easy second guess is to say, what if I run Tony Pollard twice? I love Tony Pollard. I've been singing his praises. What, he ran it three times. Okay, <laughs> but they, they already had. But what if you run him on third and fourth? Yeah, what if you yeah, say, yeah. we got a combo here. We're going to try this run, and then we're going to try that run. Yeah, I'm okay? definitely, Skip, I'm definitely running on third down. Okay. Skip, it's third and three. It's third and manageable. It's third not like three. it's third and ten. It's like it's third and 13. It's third and three yards. Okay. One to three yards is considered short. Okay, so – he throws a slant to CD, and I got no issue on third down with that. And, and he threw a good ball, and CD ran, I don't know, maybe not the strongest route, mm -hmm. but he was not clearly open. You, you need him to be clearly open, yeah. and he's up against one of the best it. corners in football, yeah. if not the, he's at the top of the well, list for Well, me. that's what you want. If I'm, okay. if I'm Green Bay, I want my best corner Absolutely. on their guy. And I'm, okay, okay. One. So, so this is the third down play, and was he there a touch early, Skip. maybe? Can we Are go you? back? Yeah. Now, I want you to tell me, if you're a DB – and you see C.D. Lamb and all he's doing is chopping. How many times you see somebody run a go route and no, they chop? No. I'm going to tell you right now. He's all Slam. You slam. Jump. Look at the chop. He, he Let's slam. Jumping. I'm driving. He's jumping. He got there a touch early. I'm driving. His left hand's behind the back a little bit. He's got his left hand in. He held yeah. him a little bit. Okay. It's just hard to get that call at Lambeau in overtime. It's just hard. Maybe you get it at Jerry World. But, okay, so – all right, so that didn't happen. So right. all of a sudden it's fourth and three. I told you Monday, 
I'm fine with going for it. You, you have a 53-yard field goal. They said the wind had changed. It wasn't a, str- right. a strong wind, okay. but it was a hurting wind right. at that point. I like my kicker. This year he's had a really good year, and he's got a thunderfoot. So do I think he could have made it for 53? I, I think he could right. have. I can't guarantee it. I can't right. bet on it. But I would have taken the field goal. But if you're not going to f- take the field goal, you have to show me that you had an ace in the hole. In your back pocket, you had a play that you have practiced all week that is the play, and it's like a two-point conversion play. You just read it on third down. Okay. Well, m- maybe. But, <laughs> but do you have that's something that's clever? Some quick toss to Tony Pollard. I don't know. Some some RPO. So, something right. that, that you haven't shown Green Bay all day. But you're definitely throwing the ball. You're not running into that situation, right? On fourth okay. and three, you're not I, running it, I'm, are you? I'm, I'm going to throw it. Okay. In, unless I have some play, some, I, I don't know, s- something special with Tony Pollard where I think I can get him in space. Or give to, uh, or what about... But like you said, I mean, I'm looking at the way uh, Dak is running now. No, I, I he just doesn't have the speed, I so I'm 